Hey guys, it is Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, today I'm going to put out some collards and spinach and lettuce in my garden. Um, according to the planning charts, you know, I could have done this in August um, and I'm on zone 8B. But to be honest, I think I'm a little, because it's right on the coast. Um, I decided I was going to wait a couple of weeks past when they said that I could plant this and see if I do better that way because I think we're a little uh, a touch different than the other parts of Georgia and the soil's different and the temperature's a little different so um, I'm going to show you kind of what's going on in the garden right now because I still have some stuff I've left out and then I'm going to just do a few couple of patches here and just see how it does last year it didn't do any good but last year the soil uh, in my garden was horrible I hadn't done all the fertilizer and stuff yet and I hadn't taken the soil in and had it um, looked at by the um, county extension people so I've amended the soil since then um, and when I dug out this soil right here uh, or when I moved my straw back and stuff um, this time there were actually worms down in there which I did not I mean a worm couldn't have survived in this stuff uh, when I started this last uh, last spring so it's, it's a lot better and uh, I'll show you, I still got the okra. <clears throat> okra still, I'm getting some here. Not as much as it was early in the year. And you can see how it's all falling over from wind blowing and stuff like that. But I'm still getting okra. I'm going to end up getting so much okra this year. I may not even plant okra next year because we've got so much um, frozen and uh, sealed in our vacuum seal bags and stuff like that. So. So that's about how much I get every day or so. I'm going to let this keep growing kind of as long as it keeps bearing. And uh, and I've got some peppers that are still uh, peppers that are still bearing. Not great, but I'm still getting peppers. So I'm going to let them go uh, here a little while longer too. All right, guys, so I'm just going to clear out a spot right here. <clears throat> I'm going to throw some new dirt on it. You don't have to do that. Uh, but if I have the money to do it, you know, when it's time and stuff like that, I like to go ahead and get some... Um, just go ahead and get some dirt and I'll just kind of keep adding a little bit to it continuously can't hurt it can't hurt you don't have to do it like I said as long as you got your dirt the way you want it and fertilizer right and all that kind of stuff but clear this spot off And I like to leave this straw out because it helps keep the weeds down. Plus it rots. And as it rots, it just gives more, more to the soil. So there's just a little spot. Let's throw some dirt in there. I like this stuff. I get it at Lowe's. It's a pretty decent price. It's not super cheap, but it's not really expensive either. So usually every time I'm there, Usually every time I'm there, I'll buy a bag or two, throw it in the truck and bring it, and put it out in the barn, so in case I need some dirt. That way I'm not having to go buy a whole bunch of bags all at once. Kind 
kind of spread this out. Level it out a little bit. And I'm not really going to do rows or anything, guys. I'm just going to throw this out here on the ground. That's the way I've always done with spinach and collards. area it's all the lettuce I got and then collards put some collards down here And then I come back and I just take a handful of dirt and just kind of cover this a little bit. Not much. Just enough to kind of cover up most of those seeds. And then I'll sprinkle them a little bit. Okay, so I got a little section of spinach, <clears throat> a little section of lettuce, got some collards on this end, and a little patch of collards over here. Is it going to do any good? I don't know. Uh, I do know this. I don't think we really have anything freezing until like Christmas almost um, so I think there's enough time like I said I haven't done this before with decent soil uh, so I just looked at the charts and figured out the time that I thought would be best for where for my garden and where I live and I'm still learning about it so we'll see how it does guys hopefully we'll have some collards for New Year's or something <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, you guys have a good day. And thanks for watching. Nichols. Retirement Empire. That was dramatic, wasn't it? See the way I, how I drew that out? Nichols. Retirement. Spooky, dramatic, and spooky. So, you guys have a good day.